No driver, just us. Press the button and go. Welcome to Mustard City. Today we're going to take a trip over to Mazda City which is mooted as the city of the future when it was first built around about 10 years ago I think. It is near Abu Dhabi airport and we are staying just on the other side, Khalifa City. So we're walking to it now and as you can see there's still a lot of desert here. It's still in the um, construction process but uh, it was a, yeah, a modern city. It was supposed to be futuristic. Um, zero carbon apparently, powered by solar panels and uh, city of the future. So as you'll notice, we're quite well covered up. I mean, it is winter, but it's still around 30 degrees and it's the middle of the day. Yeah, one thing you'll notice here is that you don't see many locals around in the middle of the day. The place no. is dead. It always comes to life like late afternoon, early evening, around sunset time. Everybody comes out, the sensible ones, when they know <laughs> the weather's right for them. But one thing for sure, make sure you've got some sort of covering, you've got your sunglasses and your sunblock, even in winter. So necessary. You're going to need it. Mazda City, where innovation meets technology. One thing I'm impressed with here in the Emirates is the street furniture. You've got shades around, things like that, to give people some shade from the sun in the middle of the day, which is really important. You'll find it on road junctions and things where you're standing waiting to cross the road, there'll be a shade for you. I like that touch. We've got solar panels on the street lamps here, which will be providing energy to light the lights at night. Now we know the pedestrian walkway isn't quite finished over there, so we're actually cutting through the car park. It's such a good idea, it's nice and shaded. We're heading over to the Siemens building first, because just by there is the amazing canteen and also the information centre as well for Mazda City. In a nice air-conditioned bus stop here, they are very impressive. And oh. this is how easy it is to top up your half a lap card. Okay, you so put the card on the machine, it tells you how much you've got on there. Balance 585, put your money in the bottom. I'm a 10 dirham note, that's the minimum amount. And then basically you're going to be processing and it'll tell you that you've had a top up. Job done. There we go, 1585. There's a very interesting art installation by an American artist, Brad Downey. It's called Signs of Life and it's showing how important cars are and wayfinding to find our way through life. And it's underneath the Siemens building. This is the Siemens building. It says that 40% of the UAE's electricity is generated using Siemens technology. A very interesting map and legend about Mazda City. Over this side here, We've got the completed projects, including the solar plant and the, oh, I love the PRT number three. This is one of my favourites. We're going to pay <laughs> this a visit soon. Keep watching for that. And we come along, there's so much more incubator building and really cool. So coming along this way, and these are the upcoming projects. Wow, the Navio extension sounds fascinating. City e-casting, that'll be pretty cool as well. Oh, and Metro City Boulevard. Now there are some cafes and restaurants here, but we're gonna take you to somewhere that we found, which is, oh my word, it's like the ultimate in frugal travel tips, I think. It is our lunch, yes. We're gonna head now to the University of Artificial Intelligence, where they have a canteen for the university students and staff. Very good value for money, um, and we can eat there. I can take my hat off now because this place is designed entirely to be cool and easy to live in. So very narrow alleyways and lots of shade between the buildings, which is really nice. And as you might be able to tell from these t-shirts, there's lots of wind blowing. There really is, through. yeah. Apparently it's like 10 degrees cooler than the other places around here within this city. So just goes to show what that innovative thinking does. So just up from this amazing building and the plaza there with the caribou coffee shop you come across the university canteen frugal travel tip it's always so important whenever you're 
like on the hunt for good value food, always look for something quite serviceable. You see these like very simple tables and chairs. And if you can tell in there, there's a bain marie. And that way, you know, you'll find something that's incredibly good value, tasty and economical. Here we come along to, oh, lovely. This is the salad bar. So if you buy a main dish, the salad is four durham extra, which is brilliant value. We've gone for the tabbouleh and the green salad. And here we've got the mains. There's plain rice, chicken curry, roast chicken today. There's fish. Lee's gone for the beef at the back. Oh, spring rolls, steamed veg and dal. So it's 16 durham for one of these main dishes here and then four extra for salad. But if you want to spend a bit extra, these ones here are 28, three sides. The fish, or we can have beef steak with mushroom sauce, wonderful. Or if you want, you can even make your own pasta. I saw that there, all the, all the toppings, and to make your own pasta, it's only 21 durham. We are back here for the third time because we know when we're onto a good thing. <laughs> I've got the beef here with um, capsicum and Arabian rice and the side salad for 20 dirham, all of that. Brilliant. And money. I had to go for the chicken curry again because it's so delicious. I also went for the Arabian rice and I went for a side salad as well today. I went for the tabbouleh and I've got lemon with that. So mine was also 20 dirham and you get free pita bread. It's up at the counter as much as you want get a taste test from Lee. Mmm, succulent, really tasty. This is incredible, good value, and it's like portions were massive. Well, what can I say? That was the most amazing meal. I am full to the brim now, and it'd be nice to just have a little wander around Mustard City and let the dinner go down. And admire the amazing architecture. Yeah, you've got all this kind of, it's passive, isn't it, to um, keep the buildings cool. So many different, architectural designs. Look at this building, this is amazing. Wow, such tiles there, it looks like wood up there though. A porcupine <laughs> outside, aren't we? <laughs> wow, well, like a durian or a jackfruit or something. When you look up everywhere, you can see the solar panels on the roof. Uh, the whole city is supposed to be completely powered by renewable energy. I don't think they've quite managed that yet, but that is the, um, the aim. idea, yeah, that's the aim. So there's a lovely looking like green space, amphitheater, little park, I'm not too sure exactly what you call it, with the MBZ University of Artificial Intelligence up there. Amazing building. I just love the shape of it. And there's, I'm guessing they're apartments. So this is the courtyard of the incubator building, another interesting design. And what I like about this place in Mazdar City is there's a lot of outdoor furniture. It's designed for you to be able to sit and enjoy the outdoors in comfort here. So this is absolutely fascinating. It's the Mazdar City Wind Tower. Now basically wind towers are normally indoors. They're inside traditional buildings and they direct the air inside down the chute to make the building cooler. The one here is in an outdoor setting. It's in an outdoor courtyard, but it catches the winds like high above the buildings, brings the cool air down to here to sweep around the courtyard and to chill it all out and also Apparently it takes the hot air from the courtyard back up the wind tunnel to disperse it. I'm not too sure if I've described that correctly. It's kind of complicated, isn't it? I wasn't listening, but yeah, sounds good to me. <laughs> and this is the world's first university for artificial intelligence. I have to say, I absolutely love the staircase, the stairway, look at it. An incredible design. And it comes along to some very important people. The late Sheikh Zayed bin Sultan al Nayan, the founding father of the UAE.
the display downstairs under the main reception is absolutely fascinating. There's the Pioneer in the Future of Sustainability, the different projects, 2006 to 2014. There are some models. And here are the re more recent ones. 2015, come along. I love this, in 2017, Mazda inaugurates High Wind Scotland, the world's first commercial scale floating offshore wind farm. It's blooming amazing. So it turns out the MBZ, University of Artificial Intelligence, first opened in 2021, so it's so new. So Lee's fascinated with the models. Yeah, and you can learn all sorts of information here about the technology that's being created in this area. The Shams Project is one of the biggest solar farms in the world, and that's out going towards, towards the Lee Wet Oasis, where I'd like to visit, out in the empty quarter. And now we're about to ride in the PRT, the automated vehicles that take you around the area. At the moment they've got two stops, this one here under the university, and I think the other one's to the North Car Park. But... <laughs> no driver, just us. Press the button and go. Welcome to Mostar City. <laughs> Personal rapid transit. Oh, look at it. This is just amazing. Wow, we're pulling out. So they're driven on magnetic strips on the floor uh, and it guides the vehicle around to where it needs to go. No need for a driver. Sit back and enjoy the journey. Oh, there's one coming this way. So it's it's got sensors and it's seeing the vehicle coming. So it's a bit that one might be going to pull in but it's number four. I like the fact that it's indicating even though there's nobody <laughs> to indicate it. <laughs> wow, look at the design, isn't it amazing? Apparently the company that made these, they've also designed cars for Ferrari and Bentley and Aston Martin. Wow, here you can see the, is it the magnetic lines that it's following. Oh, which way? Left or right? Oh, it's going this way. How cool. Is it air conditioned? Welcome to the transport of the future. <laughs> <laughs> you are looking very comfortable there, Lee. <laughs> <laughs> it's strange, you know, knowing that there's a machine in charge, you know. <laughs> Artificial intelligence is leading the way. <laughs> oh, you got your drink holders, your own thing. I love it. Comfortable chairs, aren't they? Very precise. Absolutely fantastic. My mind is blown away and it's free as well. So one of the best taxis you can get around here. <laughs> Thank you. Wow. Pleasant travelling experience. We've just had a lovely chat with the security guard and she gave us loads of great information. For example, see that red thing there on the floor? That's actually what charges the PRTs. Mm -hmm. They get charged okay. overnight. Now also, there's only like one here at the moment because all of them are over at the university waiting to bring people back to here to the car park. So in the morning, they're all here and then they take people to the university. We are wondering why it was so empty. But then we're going to go back in. Let's <laughs> <You're being> go. Tired. <laughs> 
this was a wonderful brief view of Mazda City. It was really interesting, a really fantastic place to visit. And an amazing lunch. Yeah. If we've missed anything, please let us know in the comments below because we might come back someday. Yep, and thanks very much for watching. Subscribe for more Frugal Travel and we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.